So we're going to be doing this by contradiction. We will assume, let's just say language equals this, so I don't need to write it again. Assume L is context free. Well, if it's context free, the pumping lemma applies. And it also guarantees an n greater than zero. So the next step, we pick a word in L that is of the format, it's in the language, and it's longer than n. And what do we know is longer than n? Well, we know a n b n c n is 3n because it's n a's, n b's, n c's. That's 3n's. 3n is greater than n. So this is in the language. This is longer than n. The pumping lemma lets us split it into u, v, x, y, z. And this is the context-free pumping lemma. So when you're splitting a regular language, don't use this. This is only applies for context-free pumping lemma split. Now, the pumping lemma tells us that the v, x, y is less than or equal to n. And v, y is not zero. So if you look at this, what can you generate? Well, vxy can contain what? For example, let me write a string. So let's say n equals 4. A, 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 A. That would mean this is our string. Now, if we take something out of here, which is less than n, what could it be? Well, it could be only a's. Let's say we take this. That's two a's. That's in there. Less than n. It could be only b's. Or only c's. Let's say that one. Now, what else can it contain? It could contain A's and B's. Let's say we take this right here, AB. That's less than four. Or B's and C's. That would work. Now let's get to what it cannot contain. Can not contain A's, B's, and C's because if it were to contain A's, B's, and C's even if you take the smallest case where there's one A and only one C what do you know? well you know that you just took all the B's and how many B's are there? N B's so if we have N B's with anything in front of it and anything behind it what do we know about this? it's greater than N and right here it says VXY is less than or equal to N, and it cannot be greater than N. Which is why it cannot contain A's, B's, and C's. So now, with the pumping lemma, we are allowed to pump in this format, where we take the V's and the Y's and pump it. And let's just say i equals 2 for this case, which would mean uv2, x, y2, z. Which also exists in L because of the pumping lemma. Now, we know that this uv2, x, y2, z is greater than our original string, greater than 3n. And we know that whatever we made longer, whatever we pumped, is not all three. So that would mean it's only A's, only B's, only C's, or only A's and B's, or only B's and C's. So for example, let's say we did A 
to the n plus something b n c n. This is not in the language. This doesn't match a n b n c n. So you could do this right here for all the cases. You could put this as b and you could put this as c. Now, if it was a's and b's, a n plus something, b n plus something, and c to the n. This does not exist in L. These three don't match also. You could do the same for B's and C's. So after we pump, this format is not the same. A, I, B, I, C, I. The number of A's does not match the number of B's, does not match the number of C's. It leaves at least one letter n times. Therefore, uv2, xy2z does not exist in L. And this is a contradiction.